I would like to structure what a great facilitator in terms of the three letter L. These were taken from some of the uh, publications from an organization called Onlinement. Na? So the, uh, it will be focusing on the learners, meaning the participants themselves. The second is it will focus on the learning, meaning the design of the training or the facilitated activity. And the third L is focusing on the logistics, the materials that we need to use, the venue, and others. Of course, in terms of the logistics, let us not forget the food. So in terms of the learners, this is the, I think, a most critical part in facilitated workshop or any facilitation because you really need to know the profile of the learners or your participants and this is part of the training needs analysis or the learning needs analysis. Are you training a frontline staff? Are you training the management team? Are you training government partners, local NGOs? Or are you training people in the community? Children, young people, or adults? It is important for the facilitator to take note of the characteristics and profile of the learners. And also, I think we, we should not forget that we need to ensure whether that the learners have some uh, physical uh, disabilities or any form of disabilities because those are very important in designing a training or a workshop that is more inclusive. We need to know also if the learners only speak the main language. We need to consider those things because our materials should be uh, appropriate for, for the OGEN. The second one, which I said, is the learning. Basically, the learning refers to the design of your facilitation. So, the design should have a very clear and smart objectives. Okay? First and foremost, uh, what are your objectives that you expect from the participants? No? Are you expecting the participants at the end of the day or at the end of the course to be trainer themselves? The objectives of your training is very, very important because the design, the methodologies, the form of media that you use should anchor in a very clear and specific objectives of the training. That's very important. You need to determine also whether the design of the training will include field visit or it should be a blended facilitation, meaning there's a combination of online and a face-to-face -face facilitation. Please take note that also consider in designing the learning what are the possible obstacles to the learners. For example, if you are designing an online learning and the participants are coming from a remote areas with difficult access to uh, internet, so one of the learning or the major learning obstacles is the use of uh, in having a good internet connection. So without a proper internet connection in a very remote areas, I don't think online learning will work. Last but not the least, what I would like to consider is the logistics. No? Okay, so the logistics includes uh, uh, what kind of uh, equipments, supplies that you need to use. We are going to provide some materials to the participants in advance. What, what will be the appropriate venue in a facilitated workshop where you have a lot of participatory and interactive session. A venue with a, with a lot of space is very, very important because uh, there's a lot of breakout groups that you would like to do. It is not the usual presentation, question and answer activity. Uh, it is not the usual PowerPoint presentation that we would like to, to do. So there's a lot of uh, participatory tools and techniques that you can use. A role play, a drama, uh, simulation exercises, small group discussions. And again, 
The venue will also matters a lot depending on the number of participants that you're having. So you can imagine if you have 50 participants, 20 participants, and all the participants are cramped in a, in a small room. It's just like a sardines. It's difficult for the participants to have that enabling environment or physical environment for the training. Okay. It's important that as a facilitator, uh, the key to a an effective facilitation is practice, practice, and practice. 